Hi, and thanks for tuning in and coming back if this isn't your first time. I'm Ed Lucas, and this crazy guy is my twin brother, Fred. Boom! We do a weekly blog about online dating or whatever else comes to mind. So uh, this is blog number 20 for us. 20, baby. Congratulations to us. And thanks to everybody for subscribing and watching, because uh, as long as you're watching, we're going to keep taping. For you. Uh, yeah, so today's episode, number 20, 20. is called Hot for Teacher. Hot for Teacher. And we're going to get to that right after this. Well, here we go, episode 20. Uh, Fred's got a package. I guess you can open that package, buddy. I don't know if cool. it was something you ordered or from a viewer, so I don't know. Have at it, pal. Uh, this was uh, years ago, probably uh, close to eight years ago for me, and uh, her profile read really well, you know. Uh, she's a very pretty lady in her photographs, blonde, petite, um, educated. She was a teacher, obviously, and... Uh, she lived about, you know, 20 minutes away, so it really fit everything I was looking for. Uh, so for I went out and I met her for a drink. We met at a place of her choosing uh, in her town. She said she didn't want to have to drive far. Uh, so I walked in, <sighs> and good. I didn't see her at first. I mean, I saw, you know, a couple of women, but all of a sudden, this lady good too. stood up, and uh, I realized really quick that those pictures were rather old. Very old. Oil filter for my uh, car. At the time, they were probably 20 years old. And I saw her online not too long ago with the same pictures. So that makes it, uh, in my estimation, 18 years old, these pictures. It's insane, you know. And uh, Yummies. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we sat down. I figured, I'm already here, right? Let's just have a drink. So we started on? drinking. And uh, we had a first drink. The waitress came over uh, and said, oh, you're back. Speakers. I said, oh. You come here a lot? She goes, well, I was here before. So I figured maybe she came here for lunch. Oh, then she started cameras. to say, yeah, this is my third date today. So I'm number three, right? So uh, I said, that's kind of a lot, you know, cameras. a lot of dating going on. She goes, well, listen, I have summers off, and I'm going to find a boyfriend. She goes, I'm determined. Fresh yummies from so the this garden. chick was cranking them out at least three a day, and it was only about two in the afternoon. Uh, oh, and I after this. about two minutes of talking to her, I realized she was drunk. Drunk as a skunk, this chick. Uh, and Everybody she had no problem ordering more. level. So apparently she lived across the street. And, uh, you know, I, I guess all bets are off, right? You only got to do is walk across the street and survive. That's all. So uh, she did. We started talking uh, about her and more about her and more about her. And then we changed the subject and started talking about her. This stuff smells good. And she was drunk off her ass. And uh, if there's nothing sweet, more unattractive, oil. less attractive, more unattractive to me than uh, a drunk woman on a date, I, I couldn't tell you what it is. So anyway, uh, yeah, that date did not end uh, the way I wanted it to. It wasn't a nightmare, but uh, yeah, stuff. she was a pretty heavy drinker, you know. So, Pure uh, silk, coconut yeah, body oil. Hot for teacher, not so hot. But pretty drunk. Wow, Fred, that's that's a lot of stuff in that package there, pal. Dude, you save a lot of money Good for you packaging everything Good for you. together. Yeah, I see that. That's nice, man. This guy, he's a bargain hunter, you know. Uh, Thrifty. He combines a lot in there for uh, you know get money off on shipping and all that. So. All right. Sometimes I let him order for me. It was just weird that that came to this address. Just so I guess you're getting comfortable here, right? Well, you don't like me. All right. Uh, anybody looking for a roommate? Anybody have an apartment to rent? He's in need. It's getting a little tight in here, bud. Well, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in again. Episode number 20. Uh, Fred, you want to take it? Boom! Yeah, if you want to like it, hit the like button. We've got the right button now, I think. And then uh, subscribe, of course, right? And don't forget, you got to hit yeah. that little icon. And uh, Yeah, that's about that. Yeah. And listen... Uh, Comments, too. People have told me Shh, that right they in. subscribed... But they're not getting notifications uh, of new videos. And I couldn't figure it out. And my son Austin, thanks pal. Nephew buddy. He's pretty smart. Pointed out to me that right below the subscription is a little bell icon. You got to hit the bell. That's a notification on and off. Who so knew? if you subscribe, 
then you hit the notification. Every time we come out with a new video, then you will be notified. Otherwise, you have to look. So, and that's you hard. learn something new every day. And it helps to have a computer kid as a son. And a an nephew. say that. It's awesome. So, again, this is Ed and Fred, episode 20. Boo! Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Next time. Ready, Fred? I'm ready, bud. Let's do it. This is good, by the way. Filter. Change your oil tomorrow. Hope it's nice out. These cheap cartridges, man. They don't even have the whole filter. Car comes with the, the canister, right? You put this in there. Thanks, Japan. Okay, put it back in. You ever take something out? Something that was packed by a, uh, a well trained uh, factory worker, and then you try to put that crap back in the box? It ain't fitting. Wow. Got it to fit. Green pea crisps. Anybody have them before? They don't look very good. It's supposed to be good for you. So, was he magic? Ready? Magic. Did that work? Let's try this. Magic. Try it again. Is this working? Magic. It's enough for that. <laughs>